we survived. Somewhere in their fifth dimension, they saved us. <laughs> Who the hell is they? And just why they want to help us, huh? I don't know, but they constructed this three-dimensional space inside their five-dimensional reality to allow you to understand it. Well, that ain't working. Yes, it is. You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. You have worked out that you can exert a force across space-time. Gravity. I sent a message. Affirmative. Gravity can cross the dimensions. Including time. Apparently. Do you have the quantum data? Roger, I have it. I am transmitting and on all wavelengths, but nothing is getting out, Cooper. I can do this. I can do this. To such complicated data to a child. Not just any child. The fire's out, come on! Even if you communicate it here, she won't understand its significance for years. Hey, I get that, Tars. All right, but we, we've got to figure something out, all right? The people on Earth are going to die. Think, think, think. Cooper, they didn't bring us here to change the past. Say that again. They didn't bring us here to change the past. Ourselves. Tars, give me the coordinates for NASA in binary. In binary, Roger, feeding data. It's gravity. Don't you get it yet, Tars? I brought myself here. We're here to communicate with the three-dimensional world. We're the bridge. I thought they chose me. They didn't choose me, they chose her. For what, Cooper? <laughs> to save the world. All of this is one little girl's bedroom. Every moment. It's infinitely complex. They have access to infinite time and space, but they're not bound by anything. They can't find a specific place in time. They can't communicate. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna find a way to tell Murph, just like I found this moment. How, Cooper? Love, Tars, love. It's just like Brand said. My connection with Murph, it is quantifiable. It's the key. What are we here to do? Find out, I tell her.